Before we begin, I would like to say a big thank you to Hidemasa Muta for actually being a part of this video and of course introducing me to the concept of True North. And now, let's get into it. So hello there! My name is Tanmay Bakshi and this time we're going to be going over a very interesting concept called True North by IBM. Now just before I actually get into that though, I would also like to quickly say that I'm actually currently in the IBM Research Lab in Melbourne, Australia. And just before we begin, I'd like to introduce you to Hide. So Hide, would you like to introduce yeah, yourself? Yeah, thank you. I'm Hide of IBM Research Australia. I will show you the NOW robot with True North. Sure, definitely. Now this is actually very interesting and before I tell you more about the back-end technology behind True North and what it does, I'd like to show you a quick demo. Now this over here, as you've probably seen, is the Now Robot by SoftBank. Uh, now we've made a few modifications to the robot and we'll show you those in just a moment. Uh, they're on the back of the robot. However, what we're going to show you now is, as you can see over here on this computer, we've got a web interface. Uh, and it, it, you can actually see over here what's being displayed uh, from the robot's eyes, you could say. Uh, the robot's camera, which allows it to see. And you can also see that there's a neural network trained on the SciFar 10 data data set. And what this means is that it'll actually take the images captured from the camera, run it through the SciFar 10 neural network, and it'll output predictions for what the robot is seeing. And if it predicts above a certain threshold of confidence, it'll say out that I see this specific class out of the 10 classes. And so now, today we'll actually go ahead and show the now robot a few of the different images that we've got. And then from there, we should be good to go, and we should see that uh, the now robot shows us a few different, uh, tells us what's in the images. Now, you can, horse. now as you can see, uh, Hide actually showed an image of a horse. I found a ship. Now, an image of a ship. You can even look at the web UI. What's happening? I found a dog. Is as he's showing the images, it's displaying the results. I found a deer. Live on this web interface. Um, now. You probably, you probably do realize that this thing, this um, image frame, I found a kitty. is actually updating quite frequently, and I'll talk about how it's so fast in just a moment. I but found until a then, take a look at the rest of the demo, and just realize how fast it's classifying all of these images I found a truck. from the camera. Now, of course. I found a frog. As you probably know, the now robot itself has not nearly enough computational power to actually go ahead and classify images with such high accuracy, with such a deep neural network, at such great speed. So how do we achieve this? And well, that works via the True North chip by IBM. Now let's talk a little bit more about this over here. Now this over here is essentially like a little backpack that we've got for the now robot. Here we what go. is this? Well, essentially, this backpack contains, as you can see over here, something called a True North chip by IBM. And this chip is essentially modeled off of how biological neural networks, or the human brain, works. And so, as you can see, we've got that little chip that's doing all of the calculations for those neural networks. That's right. These computations were not done on a computer or on the NOW robot. They're done on this little chip on the backpack that this now robot is wearing. Now, you can actually also see there are only two wires going to and from the, tr the True North backpack here and the now robot. One of them is a simple ethernet wire, and this ethernet wire is used for data communication between the robot and the backpack. However, you can also see there's a little black USB cable being used between the robot and the backpack. What does that do? Well, it transmits all of the power that the chip needs to run. That's right, within 5 volts and 0.5 amps, you can run this entire chip, which allows you to run deep neural networks with uh, deep neural networks with extremely high performance, in fact, 15 frames per second at its greatest. And of course, with such high accuracy with this now robot. So now that you know a little bit more of the actual technology that goes behind this, uh, I'd like to ask today a few more quick questions. First of all, how many synapses can we fit into this? How deep of a network can we fit into True North? Yeah, True North have 256 million synapses on it. 
That is absolutely great. Yeah. So we're going to be able to fit some really deep neural network architectures onto this chip. And also, last question, what exactly are you doing with True North and, and IBM in general? Yeah, I'm working on uh, robotics on I in IBM Research Australia. And recently, mm. uh, I'm applying True North for the robotics uh, uh, image analysis and perception analysis. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, now robot. And exactly. <laughs> so that's going to be all for this video today. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining in. I really do hope you enjoyed and you were able to learn something from this video. And if you did, please do make sure to leave a like down below, as well as if you have any more questions, suggestions, or feedback, please do leave that down in the comment section below. You can email that to me at tajimani at gmail.com, or you can tweet it to me at tajimani. Apart from that, if you really do like my content and you want to see more of it, uh, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as well, as it really does help out a lot. And of course, uh, that's going to be all for this video today. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining in. Goodbye.